Pritchard. Any chance you're still there? Jensen, my god. You've been offline for days. Where the hell are you? I was hoping you'd tell me. I'm pinging you now. You're in... Singapore. Something's wrong, Jensen. I pinged you, and a second later I lost your GPL signal. It's like you disappeared into a black hole. Gotta be a jammer. Well, obviously. If you can find the transmitter and take it offline, I'll be able to track you. And keep you on a tighter leash. I've got more important things to do than help you keep tabs on me. If Megan and her team are here, there's no time to waste. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with more Deus Ex Human Revolution. So this playthrough is probably going to bleed into uh, Mankind Divided a tiny bit. I've been uploading like crazy to, to you know, avoid that, but it hasn't quite worked. Access granted. Okay. Can I even... Oh, I still have Burke's revolver. Must feed the laser rifle. Feed it. Remember the damn code for the barracks dormitory. Combat rifle, combat rifle. Check up every once in a while. Make sure there's nothing overriding that gem. Will do. Oh, what's in here? I have to look. Save in case I get spotted. What? That camera saw me? Are you joking? Nope, reloading. Alright, we're sneaking around this time. Oh, that was close. Come here. A device which transmits neural impulses directly to inorganic tissue. She is urging people to visit their local limb clinics immediately to have the faulty chips replaced. Inside sources tell me that augmentation giant Ta Young Medical is scrambling to produce enough new and approved biochips to meet the expected demand. This widespread defect, coming so soon after the recent riots, only raises more questions about the problem of human is this the beginning of a complete technological breakdown, or just another glitch in the system? This right, let's disable the camera. And 
now the jammer. Access granted. You must have done something, Jensen. Four of our GPL signals just popped up, including yours. Koss, Colvin, Faraday. I'm not picking up Dr. Reed. Send me the coordinates you do have. And Pritchard, tell Sarif. I can't. While you were incommunicado, Mr. Darrow invited him, Bill Taggart, and the UN delegates to Panchea. They're halfway to the Arctic by now. Great. Great. Final Fantasy 25. Final Fantasy 27 by Square Enix. Wow. Get into that building. Someone hiding over there? Nope. Not, just don't don't look behind the crate. Ah, come here. Ah, shit. Hmm. At least three in the room. And a camera and there's a security console over there. Go ahead and chow down on that. Okay, camera's disabled. <sighs> Just sneak on through here. guy on the third level's above me. Yeah, yeah, because that's the... Oh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, good. He dozed off. Code 
for the office. This real quick. Access granted. Okay, that guy on the third floor needs to go. I've disabled the cameras, so I should be able to just sneak right up on him. Oh, hey, there's two. Ooh, and there's a third one. Alright, we're gonna get this guy first. Sooner or later. Alright. Turns around for a few seconds, turns back around. He should stop like right there. That is danger close. Danger, danger close. Come on. Come on, turn around. You're staring at a wall. Come on. The other guy is always facing forwards. Let's this let's uh disable these first. Access grant. Wow. Nothing. One of our objectives is here. But who are you? You don't look like the other security people. Did they call you in to deal with the smugglers? I know they've tried to enter the ranch before. Oh, uh, yes, yes. What, what do you want? I told you people not to barge in here. Wasn't the new biochip design enough? Dr. Koss, I'm here to get you out. Jensen? From Sarif? But we were told we'd been written off. Not exactly. Listen, Jensen. They forced me to work for them. I didn't want to create the new biochip, especially since it was based on Sarif's research, but they didn't give me a choice. No one doubts your loyalty, Dr. Koss. Do you know what they plan to do with this new biochip? I'm not sure. They said something about having Tai Young Medical produce it and distribute it through Lim, but I, I can't be sure. I know the others are here, but what about Dr. Reed? I'm not picking up her GPL signal. She's in the inner sanctum. It's heavily guarded. You won't be able to reach her. Challenge I accepted. The guards out of there first. What are the emergency protocols in case of an accident in the labs? You want me to stage an accident? I, I don't know. Besides, I, I doubt I could cause enough of a distraction in this small lab. But if two other labs experience similar accidents, simultaneously, say, Colvins and Faraday's. Isn't that a little risky? Besides, how will we coordinate these accidents? Uh, it's impossible. Maybe not. But it's that or staying here and eventually ending up like Dr. Sevchenko. They killed him, didn't they? He, he kept provoking them, coming up with these wild escape plans. They try to keep us apart as much as possible now. All right, Mr. Jensen. I'm with you. What's our next move? I'll have to contact the others first. But we have another problem. I'm sure they're tracking your GPL implants. We may be able to help you with that. Dr. Shevchenko was working on a virus program to disable their security protocols. Uh, GPL trackers, jammers, everything. I'm sure Nia or Declan could tell you more about it. Declan, right. Dr. Cost, do you have any idea where they're keeping him? I, I might. I, I overheard some of the guards. 
I, I think he might be working in the basement of the biomech labs. But I, I'm not sure. I haven't been able to locate Dr. Colvin yet. Any idea where she might be? Yes. Yes, I th think. Uh, for a while, Nia used to work on this floor, but uh, she can be rather headstrong. And I think the guards were afraid she'd try to talk to me. They moved her to a more isolated lab on the second floor of the building. I'm sure it's locked, though. So you'll... you'll have to find another way in. Dr. Koss, the bioship you mentioned was based on Sarif studies? Yes, I believe so. Uh, at first I thought it was merely convergent research, but uh, I've worked with Dr. Reed long enough to recognize her handiwork. Uh, besides, I had been working on something similar back in Detroit. And your knowledge of it made you invaluable here? At least to a certain extent. Uh, it probably helped us all stay alive. But now with Dr. Shevchenko, I guess we've all become expendable. Except for Dr. Reed, I suppose. Why do you say that? It's more of a general feeling, I guess. Back in Detroit, uh, we all realized that we were on the verge of something groundbreaking. And here, well, everyone seems to view her research as crucial in some way. That might explain why she's being held in a secured area. Possibly. I'm just glad we're going home. It's kind of hard to believe. For now, just sit tight and wait for the signal. It'll feel like a vibration coming from your GPL. I'll contact Colvin and Faraday. I will, Mr. Jensen, but hurry! All right, one scientist found. Let's drag you away. Quick save just in case and ah no it, it, it alerts um, the guys over there Hello. Get the hell out. This lab is off limits to you people. Nice to see you too, Dr. Goldman. What? Wait a second. I know you. You were Seraph's security guy. <sighs> Way to protect our asses. Hey, check the attitude, Doc. I nearly died trying to save you. Oh, and now you're here to take me back. Well, maybe I don't want to go. Maybe I've got more here than I ever had at Seraph. Would Vasily Sevchenko agree with that? They executed him and dumped his body in a ditch. That's not true! Believe it. Unless these murderers have you so brainwashed, you don't mind building their toys. It wasn't a toy. It... It was a software upgrade that limits functionalities in a biochip. They told me it was for crowd control. Is Vasily really dead? You saw the body? What was left of it? Oh my god. I should have listened to him. Dr. Colvin, I need to free Megan Reed and get everyone else out of here. It means causing simultaneous accidents in three labs. Declan and Eric. Of course. Interesting idea, Mr. Jensen. Ambitious, but risky. The timing will be critical. I'll coordinate the attack. But you understand that this could all backfire. I'm no shrinking violet, Mr. Jensen, but there may be another issue. What? The GPL tracker, I know. I also know about the virus Dr. Sevchenko developed. The one meant to interfere with their security. One step ahead. Just like Vasily. It's a good plan. However, I don't have the virus program. Perhaps you should check with Declan or Eric. Dr. Faraday doesn't seem to be working in this building. Any idea where he is? I think he's in the biomech lab next door. But you don't have to go outside to reach him. There's a skywalk that connects the two buildings. Maybe you can use it. 
Dr. Coven, I need to know I can trust you. You seemed pretty happy to be here until I told you about Dr. Sevchenko. It's been six months, Mr. Jensen. Not long for you, perhaps, but how long can a person live in constant fear? Once they took us out of isolation, it just seemed easier to concentrate on the work. Did all of you feel that way? Vasily didn't. Maybe not Declan either, but the work we do here, the discussions, and the theories. I thought Seraph's projects were far-reaching, but the experiments I've seen going on here, it's the kind of stuff DARPA dreams up every day. Only without governmental oversight keeping you in line. I suppose I'm just a typical scientist to you, right, Mr. Jensen? Blindly pushing boundaries? No care for who's footing the bill or how our discoveries get made? We all have to live with ourselves at the end of the day, Dr. Colvin. You're right, of course. But were things so different in Detroit? We all know where those Seraph contracts came from, don't we? You asked me if you could trust me. You can. But you better get on with this. I will. In the meantime, stay tuned for the signal. You'll feel a vibration in your GPL. That'll be the time to set off the distraction. I'll be ready. And I'm sorry about what I said. Okay, that's two scientists down. Okay. I have to do this. Over there. Who the hell is that? Ah, he wasn't he wasn't damn it. Damn it. Yeah. I thought he was like behind the wall. I was going to like break his neck RoboCop style. No, you're mine. You are mine. Over there. What? Alright, what are the controls for Detective Vision? F3. A few moments later. Yes. Sorry, I, I really wanted to do that. Just once, this playthrough. Just once. That's all I ask. So the guy's next door. But... She said there's a sky hook or something. That would let me... Skywalk. I like Luke Skywalker, okay. Alright, so they're behind that wall over there. Look. One, two. Hmm, it's going to be difficult. Yes, got him. Oh, another elevator. Of 
unconscious people. Some kind of stage operating room. Adam? Adam Jensen? Good grief, lad. What the blaze has happened to you? I made the mistake of surviving. I'm here to get you out, Dr. Faraday. I told Vasily that Seraph wouldn't stop looking. Sevchenko's dead, Dr. Faraday. I'm sorry. I figured as much. One day, he was just gone, and they wouldn't say why. We were all afraid, so we just kept to the work. They forced me to create a signal pattern that could broadcast software upgrades directly into a person's implanted circuitry. Upgrades? That do what? Whatever instructions have been encoded into them. They said it was to improve efficiency at clinics, but that wouldn't be the only application. Far from it. I see. Dr. Faraday, we need to free Megan from the isolation zone. I've got a plan to distract the guards. Three lab accidents. <laughs> I like your style, son. And it just might work if you can get Nia and Eric to agree. But timing them to occur at once, that will be the trick. I'll worry about the timing. For now, sit tight and wait for my signal. There's one thing you're forgetting, lad. They can track our GPL signals. I know. But I'm hoping you might have the solution to that problem. Sevchenko's viral program. Of course! I shouldn't have underestimated you. Vasily gave it to me before he... disappeared. Here you are. Upload it onto the central security computer. It will scramble their scanners. I would have done it myself, but I'm just a scientist. Don't sell yourself short, Doc. Any idea who's behind this, Doc? The kidnapping, the facility? Not really. Remarkable, considering I've been here six months. You would have thought someone would let something slip. But if it doesn't have to do with the research, you don't get a word out of them. Sounds like the guards are well trained. But what kind of threats were needed to stop the other researchers from talking? Well, there were threats early on just to get us to work. Of course, Vasily saw right through that. Kept saying they needed us. I suppose in his case, the risk outstripped the return at some point. Damn them. Dr. Sevchenko probably knew the risks and accepted them. That he did. Go on, lad. Let's put this plan of yours into action. It's time to teach these wankers a lesson. <laughs> Tell me, where Wipers. do I find this security terminal? Vasily told me there's a tunnel leading to it, near the back of the compound, I believe. But I'm afraid you'll have to explore a bit to be sure. Once I upload the virus, it'll be time to act. I'll signal you. A vibration in your GPL. Be ready. Understood, lad. But do be careful. Upload a virus to the security computer. Enter restricted area. Safe and sound. Not even any guards here. Just robots. Which we will first disable. Access granted. All right, it's done. Pritchard, are you still tracking the scientists? Of course. Simulate feedback along that route. Make it strong enough to vibrate their implants. They have to feel it. A signal, eh? Not bad, Jensen. I'm sending it now. Of 
course, because my plan triggered the alarm. That makes sense. Sniper, machine pistol, heavy rifle. How are they going to get out? Oh. Oh, it's this place. Your tenacity, Adam Jensen, is really quite irritating. We'd like you to stop now. I'm afraid I can't, Zhao. You see, I figured it out. I know what you and your conspiracy buddies are planning. Do you? How clever. A new biochip. A software upgrade that limits what augmentations can do. You're creating a kill switch. You kidnap Megan Reed's team to do it, and you're seizing control of the market to ensure it gets distributed. All because you're afraid of people like me. Augmented people, with the power to resist you. No one's afraid of you, Mr. Jensen. All your blundering around and childish interference hasn't stopped a thing. This is why we didn't go to a Tell limb me, clinic. Have you been to a limb clinic lately? Let me guess. That was supposed to shut me down, right? Leave me broken and begging? The Orgs are recalled! You should be offline! <laughs> Women never fail to underestimate men. You should have stayed dead, Jensen. Oh, this is gonna suck. You have two toes, what the hell? She's lost to you, my friend. Accept it. Ah, damn it. I was trying to... That works too, I guess. Oh Goodbye, no, they must friend. have patched it. Damn it. Track me all the way here. Finding me now should be soon. The glitch has been fixed. I see you. Oh, more grenades. It's over there. Behind you, Jensen. Oh, shit. What the revolver's for. I'm 
right over here. Come get me. I don't like this. You can approach either way. I don't have much recovery time. Like a blind man, you stumble on, unaware of the cliff. Got him. Finish it. Not until you tell me where Megan is. You've lost her, Jensen. Men like us, we never get back the things we love. Notice there are some robots here. Plasma rifle. Ooh. Peps. Stun gun. Freaking plasma rifles everywhere. I've never used a plasma rifle in this game. Hmm. A few moments later. Got it. Yes. Okay. Moving on. Jaren, is that you? Not exactly. Adam? Oh my god, Adam! It's you! You're hurt. What happened? What happened to you? I risked my life for you, Megan. I came halfway around the world, and for what? It's not what you think. Are you part of this? No! No, Adam, I swear it! The kidnapping was real. The attack on Seraph Industries, they came after me. They wanted my research. And when did you decide they could have it? It didn't happen like that. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I couldn't! And then David said we had to use it. We owed it to mankind. David? What are you talking about? My great discovery. The genetic framework I found that makes it easier for living tissue to bond with implants. I found it. In you, Adam. I used your DNA. I wanted to tell you, I swear. But David convinced me what it could mean for mankind. How much better off we could all be. It took Hugh to make me see how wrong I was. Hugh? Hugh Darrow. He owns this facility. After Namir brought us here... Richard! Patch me into Seraph, now! Adam, please! He was only pretending to work with Tai Young and the others. He found out what they were planning to do and told them he would help. But only to make sure they never succeeded. Their control signal won't work. Thank you, David. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Seraph here has asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. After careful deliberation, I've decided I must do exactly that. Forgive me. Oh god. He's modified the control signal. Anyone with the new biochip will be affected. You never said anything about this. I'm going back for the scientists. No, Adam! I know the complex better than you. I'll find them. There's a hangar bay through there. Get to its control room and retract the roof. Clear a path for us. Uh... Like, why is this room so white? I don't understand.
That's a level five, really? The room is so white. It's so Access white. Spread. Ah, uh, unique ebook. There's another one here. Hudero's final interview. Oh, that smug prick. Oh, this is his desk, too. Now that is a level 5. Access granted. Uh... Good morning, Mr. Darrow. New, new and improved prototype to better counter quantum size effects. So this is a, yet again another email describing the nanotechnology uh, for nano augmentations. Which we have not quite reached that age yet, as is evidenced by our robot arms. frequencies are going haywire. Malik, is that you? Where are you? Coming into visual range of Singapore now. Been in the air since Pritchard first pinged you. Good timing. I'm heading for a hangar bay to open the roof. I'll need an emergency extraction. Roger that. I'm on my way. Oh, wonderful. But, this is why I went to all that effort to save Malik uh, back in China. Because... I helped her, now she helps me. I see the scientist, Jensen. I'm landing nearby. And I think... Dr. Reed wants to speak to you. Hang on. There they go. Hello? Adam? We're all fine, but you have to get to Panchea and stop Hugh. You and I aren't done with this, Megan. I know how it looks, but you have to stop the broadcast. I think it's causing the new biochips to overstimulate the vagus nerve, creating terrifying hallucinations. You mean it's driving augmented people insane? Yes, and it's up to you to stop it. Use the Leo shuttle. It will take you to Panchea. Good luck, Adam. There, create some room. Okay, so what just happened with the whole Hugh Darrow thing? That was the incident to which Mankind Divided is referring. Uh, crazy spec op. Oh, they went crazy too, because they're augmented. I'll take this candy. But uh, yeah, them, them going crazy and Adam stopping it is the incident for Mankind Divided. And once we hit that button, uh, we'll head over to Panchea for the final level. That will be reserved for the next video. Until then, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.